Well, charter schools became the norm in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, but a big change could soon be on the horizon. Rewriting how charter schools operate in this state, it's a challenge that would possibly affect 45,000 students in the city of New Orleans. WGSU's Jennifer Crockett takes a closer look at the controversial system in this story only on six. Experiments in education are written into Louisiana state law to allow for charter schools and innovative ways to improve education. But two reports now show charters here in New Orleans have failed to prove that what they're doing works. Upcoming proposed legislation aims to end the experiment happening in schools and learn about what works. We've seen uh, what happens when charter schools don't deliver on their promises. Abram Heimelstein's daughter entered the New Orleans Charter School Admissions Lottery, or one app, for the second time in first grade. The charter school where she went to kindergarten abruptly closed. He's happy with her school now, but says he's one of the lucky ones. We don't really have a chance uh, to do what was promised, which is have school choice. And I feel like one app hasn't served the vast majority of the city, and I feel like charter schools not individual ones, but a charter, all charter system also has failed to do the work that it was promised to do, which was uplift the entire city's educational experience. Raina Otala is advocating for her daughter's education and other students with learning differences or those who speak English as a second language. She says New Orleans needs better schools. According to the Orleans Parish School Board's most recent records, six of its charter schools are A rated, 21 earned a D and eight charter schools are operating with an F grade. But Otala says school grades, which come from standardized test scores, don't paint the whole picture. They don't evaluate how the students are taught, and that's the constant variable in the New Orleans charter experiment. How many parents want their kids to be experimented on, especially when it comes to education? We do not have um, the luxury of waiting to see if the experiment will work or not. It's a business. This is exactly what it is. Of the 29 charter contracts reviewed in the 2021 legislative audit, only four required schools report any data other than standardized test scores. It also reaffirmed flaws found five years ago in this Stanford study. Flaws including across town busing, racial disparities, and lack of oversight. The charter law says if you're trying something as an experiment and it doesn't work, you're supposed to eliminate it. Senator Joe Bowie plans to introduce new bills this session to require charters prove the concepts they pitch to parents and the school board. 73% of our kids, as of the last time we measured their grade level performance, 73% were not performing at grade level. That's compared to 63% in 2005 when they took our school. So 10% more of our kids are not performing at grade level. We must address what is now the condition of our public education experiment. It is both failed and flawed. Bowie's bill is still in the works, but he says there are four things the state must accomplish this spring. Temporarily stop issuing new charters in New Orleans, get rid of the current admission system, bring back neighborhood schools, and renew only the charters that can show their model benefits our kids. We have all of these young people who are out of school, can't work, can't read at the sixth grade level, no skills, and nothing to do. Senator Bowie says he's working this special session to iron out the details of his upcoming proposed legislation. The parents that you heard from earlier in this story, they said they're very happy with the schools their kids go to now. They just want all of the kids in New Orleans to have that same opportunity. And now to the school system. In its published response to the 2021 legislative audit, the superintendent of NOLA Public Schools wrote, quote, NOLA PS agrees with the importance of analyzing historic data to better understand what practices result in positive outcomes. So I asked the school system if they're implementing new reporting requirements into charter contracts so that they can better evaluate whether or not the education model is successful for our students. They did not answer that question. Instead, they sent me two reports from 2018 and 2019 that they say show an all charter system is beneficial for the city. You can read all of the reports on the WDSU app and WDSU.com. Reporting Uptown, I'm Jennifer Crockett. Back to you.